longer step on but your you grass. You need to tell us why you're filming this site. What do you mean I need to tell yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, why? You yeah. want to know. You need to, because it's a private property. So, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're here at Collins Aerospace, Marston Aerospace Limited in Wolverhampton. This is another one that's involved in, well, aerospace stuff. So let's see if we can have a little wander around, get some clues. See if we can see anything interesting at all. The building looks very old. It reminds me of an old school. But it does look very secure. Signage is really good. Got an employee car park to the right there. And we've got some large glass roof section up there. With an open gate going down. But there is also this road on this side next to other businesses, Rofley, Plastic, Bottle Supplies Limited over there. So this road down here is shared. So let's have a little wonder down there and see what we can see. As we come down, propped up against the fence, I've got this roof sheeting, which I presume is to block the view into the bike shed. Just down there, they've got some cycles and just here they've got motorbikes. And then we come to an old sign, HS Marston Aerospace Limited. And look at that lamppost there. Look how it's all bent. Look the wires just hanging down. And the end's exposed. I mean, what is on the end of that? It doesn't look very good, does it, image-wise? I mean, it is on the public highway, but Come on, what's happened there? Has a lorry hit that or something? So as we stand outside Collins Aerospace, we just look at the bottom of the fence and we can see wires that are exposed like this. And it really is not a good image, is it? I mean, let's have a quick look. So we've got these wires here, which seem to be some sort of network cable that are just loose, littered outside. And then we've got other cables I mean, look, look at that. And that is a very heavy duty power cable of some sort, which has just been sheared off at the end. All just left next to the fence where the gardener's doing a great job making the place look immaculate with all the grounds and all the bushes cut, beautiful signs, flags. Everything looks really nice. And then you've got this. That's not good, is it? And it looks like it's coming from that control box there, which seems to be the old security magnet wiring for the gate, which is no longer in operation, which is no problem because access is being controlled by the gentleman over there in the gatehouse, who's clearly keeping an eye on things to make sure unauthorized people don't go too far but if you're not oh yeah sod <laughs> i am mate yeah i don't know yeah there you go my friend thanks for watching what was your first name simon nice one simon cheers mate you fruit me then <laughs> simon there comes and gets his key ring i did not see him creep up so yeah, as I was saying, redundant security features. Tidy up your wiring. I think uh, rather than leave this trip hazard there, I will put it back where I found it. So let's continue having a look around. You know, even the workers, they've took a little shortcut. They have to go over the mud lot. You see this trodden mud path here. Rather than take the long way around, where they've got a path, Collins Aerospace could just put a little row of slabs up there just to keep the workers' new footwear in best condition. Sorry? Just looking around. Why are you filming the factory? That's a part of looking. I'm just seeing. No, no, who are you working for? I'm not working for anyone. 
Well, you wouldn't just stand there filming a factory. Sorry? Why well, are you filming a factory? I'm just looking around, that's all. No, just you're having not. a look. You're filming. Yeah, filming, documenting. What so for? whatever I can see, I'm keeping a record of it. What of? It's just like a little audit. Who for? Just for me. Then what are you doing with this wire? Yeah, it's discarded wiring for the old um, magnet controlled gate. And it's not being used anymore, it's just been cut off. It doesn't look very good. It's just a part of the audit, that's all. Yeah, but who are you auditing for? For me. Why? So Why would you audit that for yourself? Well, are you proud of that? Is this What's your that got to do with you? It's not your property. Wait, well, it's a possible trip hazard for members of the public walking down here. No, it's yeah, not. It's we're, behind we're, a fence. We're a security controlled site as well. You need to understand. That's fine. I'm not yeah, on your site. No, but when you film, you were you stood there. Uh... This is all public. No, it's not. This is our property. Do you, do you not want me to stand on the grass any longer? I don't want you to stand anywhere near here. I don't want you filming this site. Well, that's a bit rude, are you? Dane Tooth? Yeah. Right, okay, Dane. You're not you allowed to film this site. What makes you say that? You are not allowed to film our site. Yeah, just explain. What makes you say that? Because we are an aerospace company and they will not allow people on this site without permission filming the site. I agree with you. I'm not going to come on your site. I'm just will going to film just from the outside. The yeah, and now you've told me you don't want me on the grass. That's fine. Have you read that board? Sorry? Have you read that board? Authorised personnel only. Yeah. So I ventured onto your grass, haven't I? And now Dane said he doesn't want me to come on, so I, I'll work with you. I'll do my filming from the outside and I won't no longer step on but your you grass. you need to tell us why are you filming this site? What do you mean I need to tell yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, why? Yeah. You want to know? You need to, because it's a private property. Yeah, I'm going to stay off your private property. If I come to your house and if I'm filming your house... Why would you, you want to do that? Me? Just for me. I'll if you want to film my house, that's up to you, but I've got a reason to be here, okay? I'm just here to do a little audit. I'm just highlighting some areas of concern that I see. Who's it's not the, all bad. Who are you highlighting the concern to? Well, now we're getting a bit deeper into my private business, aren't we? No. Yeah, but if you're filming our size, it's our We need to know what you do so with the film. Yeah, but filming, filming out in public is not against the law. No, no, it's not. So but I'm just a doing... of courtesy. You could just tell us what you're here for and then yeah, we'll and go I, away and leave I, you and there's no problem. I could have said, mind your own business, but I've been polite. I've said, I'm just making a little documentary, a little video. Yeah. I'm highlighting areas of good and bad. Not just all bad. Good and bad. I mean, part. you've got... A, you know that lamppost there that's been hit and the wires are all hanging off down looking ugly? Do you know anything about that? No, because that's not our property. I know, so I'm out on this the public. Is public road. Yeah, so I'm just concentrating on the public areas. No, but you're filming our site. Yeah, and if it's all great landscaping. You've got a lovely bench over there. You've got great stuff, but this is not good. You can't be proud of this, guys. Come on. Would you say Look, we're proud of it? This is all. Um, but that is not a walkway. But what I'm saying is, you know when, if, if, this, if this wire, yeah, if this wire, look, it's long enough to, to stretch onto the public area. Right. That is a potential trip hazard. If children, if children touch oh. that, like they do, that is a potential trip hazard. What is that going on? Do you know? It's for the old it, that, gate magnet. To the... Obviously this guy knows more about that site. I've only just arrived. It will include the drone going over as well. And I just want to highlight... What drone? My drone. Do you want to see it? I think we better ring Andy Lee's. But I will do it. To our That's fine. Um, have you got contact details? I'm just a member of the public. So you're not representing an organisation? Or... No, certainly not. I'm, I'm just, what, what it is, right? Big companies like yourself, you have a duty of care. Yeah. Okay. You have to be responsible. And I just go around places just to have a look, just from the outside. I don't want to come on. This, this Dana said, oh, you, you stood on our grass. Don't do it again. So I won't, okay? And that's, that's me fine. being... You just understand our predicament. If it's someone coming outside filming and that, and we're, we're an aerospace company, and we're involved in a lot of obvious aerospace structures as such. Like what? Well, well that's not Military's concerned and that. All oh, right, so, okay. So no, just... You've told him too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't stop him from speaking. No, 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 no. You, you, you're just up to no good. I'm up to what? You're just up to no good. Okay, let's go speak. That's an accusation that you can't uh, prove. Yeah, well, you're, you're accusing us of a lot of stuff. Well, it's clear to see. This is the evidence. No, it's not. Well, okay, okay. I, let's I just, let's think, just tidy this up, guys, yeah? I don't think you're in a position to, be, to, to instruct us to do anything. No, no, you're with not. things that are on our I'm side. highlighting so, things, that's all. You so can, you can highlight... You yeah, can, thank you. You can highlight what you so need to highlight. So do I have your agreement that I'm okay to do this out in public, yeah? yeah? We can't stop you doing anything thank on, you. on that's public great. property. Thank you. Are you okay with that, Dane? We're, we're all in agreement with that. We will... We are going to ask... We will ask you to be courteous towards our requirements as an aerospace firm we can't have you can't fly a drone over our property oh yeah i can I'd love to show you the, the law on that okay yeah just so we're clear because i don't want you calling the police wasting their time 
Um, the sim Sorry? I didn't have any say, I just laughed. <laughs> well, don't you want me to show you them? Because if it's a laughing matter, I'm uh, trying to be serious here. Uh, yeah, all right. you, you, you carry on then. Thank you. We'll, uh, thank you, guys. Have a nice day. We'll yep, thank you. So that was that. Dane and his colleagues from Collins Aerospace are now happy for us to continue. I think he tried to assert some authority there on myself just because we wish to highlight uh, some dodgy wiring that's been left outside. You've got the guy on the right who says, yep, yeah, you carry on then, we'll leave you to it. But Dane on the left there, he really isn't happy, is he? Security's, security's just oblivious. So let's jump straight into the drone footage on this one and let's see what Collins Aerospace looks like from above. So as always, we've checked on drone assist. There are no flight restrictions in this area at all. So, Collins Aerospace here in Wolverhampton. Let's have a quick look to see what you look like then. So we've got the gentleman down there on the phone. And as we have already seen, just a little bit of a car park to the right with the cycle shed and the motorbike storage area. Wasteland just behind. And is there anything visible? Let's go and check this out, shall we? It's a very, very long building with lots of much older roof structures letting lots of natural light in and they're really not very tidy with their wires are they <laughs> very old building look you don't see buildings like this very often do you and then we have some maybe internal refurbishment going on to have that type of skip and that type of waste. Some carpet tiles there and Dell computer boxes. So we have seen all we can see with the drone. As he mentioned, military aerospace supplier, which explains why they're a little bit protective of what they do. So that's the whole site in one shot. I'll switch over to the Google panoramic 360 degree camera now and then we'll move on. Yes, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Any particular reason you were filming from the site? Yeah, yeah, making a video about the company today. All right. For what, for what reason? It's just like an audit. An audit? Audit, yeah. And who we put audits in by who? By me. Just a member of the public. Just a member of the public, okay. Just anything interesting, good or bad, that I can see that's happening from the outside public areas. Right, yeah. Yeah, just document in public interest, you know. Public interest, really? Yeah. It, uh, your colleagues mentioned these cables down here. No, no. They're no, no, potential no. trip hazard for members of the public coming down. Why would a member of the public come down? Do you want to show you? Yeah, you can do that. You see how this is a public footpath just here? Yeah. Yeah. So members of the public would be coming across here, yeah? Down down this way, potentially. No. Well, this is a public footpath, yeah? Yes. So to get over the, this side of the road, yes. the shortest route will just be walking over here, yeah? yeah? Yeah. So this area, if this area is potentially, if that wire can reach this area, then that is a potential trip hazard, if it can reach into the public area. That's how the law works. There, no, do you want me to show you? I'll show you. No, you don't need to move. Don't move. Don't move. Well, you just said I'm. A, you just said I'm mistaken. So that's our property. That's we need, our property. We need, we need further clarification. Our property. Clarification, don't we? Our property. You don't touch our property. That's a will. Steer away. You move away. Please. You move away. Hello. Look, I'm stepping back. If you come towards me, I'll push you away. Okay. Okay. Don't come towards don't, me. I'll push you away. You're fine off our property. So, like I said to you, like I said to you, that is a potential trip hazard. This is what my audit's here for. David Spencer. David Spencer. I'm no longer talking to yourself. Goodbye. 
you want to talk reasonably, David, then I'm willing to. But that proves to me that you're not willing to talk reasonably. The conversation's over, David. Yeah, because you, you refused to acknowledge my concern. And you call yourself health and safety manager. It's a concern. Yes, it is. It, it can reach concern. into the public area. Why don't you just say, OK, thank you for highlighting that. We'll get it cut. So, oh, I, You're too I, proud to even admit no, 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 what a member of the public no, no. is highlighting to no, you. No, 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 and you, no, no, no. are you security? Yes. Where's your SIA licence? Like You've got to have it on display by law. Yeah. It's a part of the audit. It's a part of the audit, OK? okay. So you... SIA, you will be reported for not displaying your SIA license. Yeah, you carry on, report him, yeah, that's fine. That'll be reported for being an obstruction. Who are you yeah. reporting that to? To the council. To the council? Brilliant, brilliant. Well, it's the council's authority, this area, this is a council that, that road. That is, that isn't. If that reaches onto public highway, Can it's you, the local I'm authorities. Please run the road. Please run there. Find the council now. I'll get this done. Find the I'll, council now. You don't me. tell me when I phone the council. I'll do it in my own time. <laughs> okay, you do it in your own time. You're yeah. getting quite aggressive. Oh, he's, he's talking, I'm walking away now. So. He's you to grab our what, what, do you, what do you mean? I need to walk you away. You say you need to walk away. Don't tell me what I need to you do. You need to walk don't away. Don't tell me what now. I need to do. Just get off this Grab site now. I'm not on your site. I'm on the just public highway. Just do no. You do not tell me to clear off. Who do you think you are? Your your authority ends. You are. Your authority. You're trying to take a photo What's of me? It? No, I haven't. I've been filming. I you saw you. I've been filming. I like saw you. Are. you. Doing an audit. Go on, do one. Well, make an allegation to the police if you think I'm committing theft. Don't you tell a member of the public to clear off. Who do you think you're talking to? Who do you think you are? Member of the public. We have rights. So, they don't want to hear that their cables can reach into the public highway. And when you actually demonstrate it to them, they say, get off our property. Well, I'm sorry, but if you're unwilling to be reasonable, then we have to show you. Now look at this. This is more cables all outside. Look at all this. And they're saying that's not a trip hazard either. <laughs> Clearly flapping around. And I bet they're gonna deny that this fence belongs to them either. You've got a temporary fence here, one of these Harris fences, that is just leaning up against their fence. All it's got is two little posts down into the mud. So that's a health and safety risk as well. I don't know. So these guys mentioned that they've called the police now, so I'm just going to prove a point by jumping on the bike and moving positions just to make sure that they do not think they have any power to make me stay here. But yeah, what do you reckon? You've got the cables to the left there that can easily reach into the public highway. You've got the Harris fence just there that is flapping away unsecure. So two areas of concern and they're not even willing to listen about it, are they? So we've come a bit further down the fence now to this gate where we already took the drone over so we know there's nothing uh, visible but just so you can see that's the uniform that they're wearing so yeah behaving a little bit unprofessional in my opinion when a member of the public is highlighting genuine areas of concern it might be minor to them but they can at least acknowledge it and be professional and swallow their pride. You know, they're too proud that we cannot have a random stranger telling us anything. We're too clever. We're too good. We are an aerospace company. Don't quite work like that, does it? If we're out filming in public and we've highlighted something that's genuinely a trip hazard, if it had uncoiled itself into that public area, just the fact that it can reach into that area. That's it, case closed. So I'll leave this one here. I will show you the location of the DJ audits key ring. Just up there, look, behind the fire hydrant locator sign, which is just down here and just down here. <laughs> so if you have enjoyed that video, 
do give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one. And I'll come back to you if the police arrive before I leave the area.